Hey Rick, it's Nim and Rach, and we're here to ask you 42 questions. Hey Nim and Rach, come on in. Hey Rick, okay, let's get started. What's the first thing you thought of this morning? Uh, I was wondering how my slab porch were going early this morning. <laughs> and where were you born? Uh, I was born and raised in El Paso, Texas. Nice. What's the most El Paso thing about you? Oh, definitely I'm a big fan of uh, Chico's Tacos. If you don't know, you need to get some. Sounds good. What is your favorite part about being, what was your favorite part about your childhood? Um, you know what, family gatherings. Nice. What is the one thing that you should have died from as a child? Oh, during those family gatherings, my cousins and I, we would uh, jump off my grandmother's roof a lot. Oh, <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> would you rather travel back in time or forward in time? Uh, neither. Okay. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, I had steel cut oats. Healthy breakfast. Wow. By and the way, uh, anybody want anything to drink? Water? I got a water. All right. I'm good, thanks. So hey Rick, is that your favorite breakfast, what you had today? Actually, no. I'm a big fan of waffles. Lots of butter and syrup. Oh God, me too. What's one song you can listen to on repeat? Uh, right now, um, I have an old soul, believe it or not. Uh, La Vie en Rose by Louis Armstrong. What's your favorite sport to watch? Definitely baseball. <laughs> How about them Astros? <laughs> yeah, that Dodgers fan here. <laughs> <laughs> well then, next. Okay, and your favorite athlete? Uh, definitely Michael Jordan, MJ. Number 23 in the house. I can't agree more. All right, Rick, aisle seat or window seat on a plane? Uh, definitely aisle seat, I'm an aisle seat kind of guy. Nice, okay, so Christmas, Thanksgiving, or Halloween? Christmas for sure. Okay, and if you weren't Rick Rivas, who would you be? Oh, that's easy, I'd be Superman. <laughs> okay, and when are you most inspired? Uh, honestly, uh, after watching you know, movies, you know, a good one is Rudy, you know, classic. Rudy, Rudy. And what's one place you've always wanted to visit? London, oh. I hear great things about that place. It's awesome, it's my birth land. Okay, and what about Liv? Live? Uh, you know what? I probably could live and retire, but probably Hawaii. Oh, me too. Okay, Rick, what is your biggest weakness? Uh, can you repeat that? What is your biggest? I'll cut people off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so what is one thing people might not know about you? Um, pretty much an open book, uh, so there's not much you're not going to know about me. Okay. What's a new hobby that you would like to learn? Oh, you know, I've been looking to get into shooting and jiu-jitsu, believe it or not. I mean, not to piss him off. <laughs> Tile or hardwood floor? Definitely hardwood floors. Okay, and what's a nickname that you had in high school? Oh, they used to call me Slick Rick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. What is your biggest strength, Slick Rick? Uh, you know what? I'm uh, very, very competitive. All right. Star Wars or Star Trek? Oh, it's kind of a tough one, but uh, definitely a Star Wars kind of guy. Yes. All right, so what advice would you give your 17-year-old self? Uh, you know what, I used to play a lot of sports and definitely i probably taking the weight room a little bit more serious. Okay, and what's your biggest pet peeve? Oh, that's easy. People that chew gum with their mouth open. Oh my Can't gosh. Can't stand that. I agree. <laughs> All right, what is one celebrity that you've been told you look like? Um, I haven't quite got that yet, so I guess I can consider myself lucky. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's something that you can't do? Can't? Uh, there's nothing I can't do. Oh, okay. okay. Marvel or DC? Definitely Marvel. All right. And what's your spirit animal? Spirit animal? Hmm. I'd have to say a wolf. Oh! <laughs> okay, so martini or old-fashioned? Oh. Definitely, I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy. Nice. All right, so car or truck? Uh, I'm a truck guy. Okay, morning person or night owl? Oh, that's easy, morning person. All right. When you were young, how did you know you were in trouble? Oh, my mom would call me by my full name, which is Ricardo Adrián Rivas. And when I heard that, that was, there's no escape from that. Donde está la biblioteca? Okay, Rick, so what is your biggest fear? That's an easy one for me. Time. Don't have enough time sometimes. Oh, I feel you there. All right. So since you're the area sales manager for the entire South Division, 
What word would you use to describe Saratoga homes? Oh, that's easy, commitment. Nice. Okay, and your most popular Saratoga homes floor plan? Oh, that's easier. It's our beautiful Madison floor plan that we have here in Rodeo Palms. Great high wall of windows that everybody loves, open concept, beautiful plan. Awesome. So why choose Saratoga over, the com over a competitor? Um, it goes back to our saying, the difference is our commitment, plain and simple. Makes sense. So do you have a community that is your favorite? Oh, they're all my favorite. They all have perks that I like, each and every single one of them. Nice. So what plan are we in right now? Uh, this is the beautiful Elise floor plan. Okay, and do you have a favorite feature? Uh, it's actually the layout, the floor plan layout. I love the open concept design. Uh, it lays out beautifully from the kitchen all the way to the family room. Great, for, like I said, for family gatherings. That yeah, makes sense. Actually, I was just admiring all the space everywhere. All right, Rick, if you could describe yourself in three words, how would you? Oh, it's a good question. I would say uh, competitive, stubborn, and ambitious. All Speaking right. of ambitious, uh, I got a division of run guys, so uh, I got to sign these closing docs and you guys have got to go. We'll do this again later. It's okay.